Hey fellow Vault Warriors, it's Angry Turtle and today I have for you 2023 review for the Missile Launcher. I just recently rediscovered how much I like it since I created my universal build and I figured out that follow through can be triggered by the Missile Launcher that increased my level of fun greatly and of course I will demonstrate it to you in details you will be looking at me firing those missiles but first some basic information about beloved missile launcher if you hate it you will change your mind most likely after watching this video the missile launcher i'm using is a boomstick boomstick is a possible drop from mutated packs that you can currently drop from mutated events the chances of obtaining that is like 5%, so not very high, but it is tradable, so you can get it from other players. On top of that, it is a perfect roll. If you don't know, two shot, which is shoots an additional projectile, in case of launchers, actually works correctly. I mean, not as much correctly as was never nerfed, so it is doing a proper double damage if not slightly more it's firing two full power missile how it's supposed to be then there is damage while aiming that in my opinion for launcher is the best second star and third star is reduced weight as you can see not great so far but this one will get fixed with next update in couple weeks so it will actually be almost weightless it will work, which will make Boomstick a perfect missile launcher. Now, possible modifications for missile launcher. Oh, and if you don't see your mods unlocked, you need to scrap regular missile launchers for those. Now, it can be standard barrel, triple barrel or quad barrel. Of course, you want quad because that's more ammo to fire. Then targeting computer. That's a true beauty. Only missile launcher has it. It's locks on target, fire and forget. Amazing functionality and insane range, how you can lock it. Way higher range than any other weapon. That's why I like it to shoot down flying Scorch Beast. I don't need to wait for them to fly in closer. I can take them down, no matter how far and how high they fly. The scope options, I don't see the use case. And then muzzle, you can have some muzzles. I don't know what would be the reason to use them. If you know it, let me know. But we already have targeting computer. We don't need any muzzle. And my favorite paint, Atom's Cut. I don't exactly know how you unlock it. Was it Atom Shot? Was it Scoreboard? Or was it a Nuclear Winter? I don't remember. And now how I use it. You can see I'm invisible that because I have some chameleon power armor pieces, not intentionally crafted, but just happened to be it. And of course I do have follow through and I swap one perk on my universal build to get lock and load. I want faster reload. Then what I do, get a lock, fire one, wait three seconds, fire remaining messiah, and dead. Look at that. By the way, to get the bonus damage from damage while aiming, I would need to be aiming in the moment of impact, which is not always possible if I fire them all. And another one. Let's see if I can take her down with just three missiles. So I fire one for the warm up, fire two more. So I continuously aim and I think I hit the tree. So I need to launch a last one. And down. I'm detected as missile launcher is a loud weapon, but usually I can fire first one and stay in caution so I can trigger follow through. Another Scorch Beast. And we have another Fissure Sight. We repeat it. We get the lock. You can hear the lock and you can see the marker appearing. I fire just free. What, what can be done with that? She's done. Did it with just three. I continuously aimed. I still hid it as I'm far enough. If I want to find this scourge, it's far away in the forest. 
So that's only downside. Did you ever found fighting Scorchbeast to be annoying? As she's either too far or you cannot even reach with your weapon? Or she refuses to land? You ever was in such a situation? You will not be anymore. Free Messiah. Usually enough for a Scourge Beast. Free Messiah. And you pick up so many from random places, at least I do. I often pick up some random Messiah that I couldn't do anything with before I discover Messiah Launcher with follow through. And there is one way to get a Scorch Beast to fall down close to you. The problem is she need to fly towards you and then she's launch on kill and she will land up close to you. So it's possible, but it would require some extra patience. I usually do not have. I just, I just like to fire and destroy. And did you notice what's the best thing with this strategy? I don't need to bother with regular scorch at all. Oh, and don't fire when she's sitting mid-air. She will like neglect all the damage somehow. So don't do that. Free Messiah. Almost perfectly. Now I'm chasing this buddy. I want some loot from this escapade. And when I run close, I usually just go back to sneaking. So the scorched. Oh, and I have plan. That's another thing. If you really want those super rare plans for ultra side power armor, the Scourge have a chance to drop those ultra side motion assist servers. The problem is the chance of getting calibrated shocks is just so incredibly low. You will probably do it for months, jumping from fissure to fissure and shooting down the Scourge. But good news is, if you want to do that, the Scorch Beast respawn or every fissure side every 10 minutes. So let's say I kill Scorch Beast in here at 1.05, let's say 1 p.m., 5 past 1 p.m., 15 past 1 p.m., there will be a new Scorch Beast I can shoot again. So that's a plus side. But yeah, it is a grind. Anyway, this is a missile launcher for you. The missile launcher with targeting computer. It is a beast. It is a true beast and such a fun to use. Just free messiah for annoying scourge beast? I think it's worth your buck. As well, you can just buy messiah from ammo exchange machine. You don't need to craft them. Crafting is extremely expensive. I much rather just farm cannonballs in daily ops, sell cannonballs for ammo points, and buy Messiah from Ammo Exchange Machine. That's my strategy if I want more Messiah. I do not craft those. Crafting is too expensive. And that being said, let me know what you think about Missile Launcher. Are you a fan as I am? I'm generally a fan of things that are doing a big boom. So I'm sold from the beginning. But what about you? Let me know. And now as always, thank you a lot for watching and see you all in the next one.